My name's uh, Will Wyatt. Um, my job title is a special effects engineer working, working for a special effects company in, in, based in West London called Artem. Um, I work in the field of special effects, which, which by nature is, um, is a very, very broad, broad job in itself. I mean, we, we do all sorts of creative processes and engineering processes spanning from model making to prop making to um, sewing and painting and, and so on. Um, and I, personally, my, my job is to, to, to look after the engineering side of things. We do a lot of mechanical large rigs. We also do a lot, a lot of small things and small props, mechanical props for film and TV. I find a lot of the stuff we do is, um, is actually quite a hobby of my, of my own. Making, we, we do a lot of work with cars and I, I enjoy working with cars. So coming to work is it's not so much a, it's a job. It's, I can really indulge in, in, in what I'm doing and, and you can combine a lot of your hobbies and, 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 and the actual things that really interest you with the work you're doing. And I think if you can combine those two things together, then it's, it's a really fun thing to be working. It's a, it's a fun way to do work and it's a fun way to carry on working. We worked on a film called Ironclad, uh, which has is, which is, been out for a while now. Um, and we made a, we made a large scale miniature, um, which a large scale miniature of a, of a, of a castle, it was only a section of a castle, but it was about 25 foot tall. Um, and it was my job, um, as, well as, as well as one other guy, to actually come up with the, with the design and, and the process to actually building a rig which would absolutely would, would collapse the castle um, in, a, in a fashion that, that mimicked exactly what the director and the actual film wanted. I mean, it, couldn't, it was a castle, it couldn't just fall over, it had to actually fall down in a, in a, in a vertical fashion. It was actually it was meant to be falling into a pit. So we had to make sure that the rig we made absolutely stood up to its name and did exactly what they wanted it to do. Um, and it was only a one-take shot. And it, took us a, it was actually a, it was a breakaway castle, so we only had one, one shot at it. Um, and it actually, when, when it came to shoot, and we actually pressed the button and we, we fired the pyros off, it, it collapsed and it, and it worked perfectly. And it, it was just what everyone wanted. Backing A-levels, I mean, I was very... I, I always knew that, that what I was going to do was not going to be a totally creative process and it was going to take a lot of academic work and and, and you know, that, that, type of, that type of area to actually to get into, into special effects. So from there, I, I, I did certain, I was quite interested in maths and, and physics and so on, but also making sure I didn't put a creative um, flair behind me and, and actually blending those all together. The route that I came through, which is actually going through A-levels and then going through a foundation year and then actually going to university and studying specialised degrees and special effects, technical effects, uh, model making, um, all, over the, all over the country, there's these different courses. There was an interest that somebody had, which was, which was creative, engineering, you know, even taking things apart, putting things together. Um, then, then the special effects and, and film, TV, industry and engineering is a, is a great thing to get into.